Well, Shabbat Shalom. I sure hope that you're enjoying these Covenant Faith series on PowerPoint, and I, I hope that you will order the series of Covenant Faith and undergird your faith. I keep saying this, but it's so important to hear it over and over that you need to do the PowerPoints in the morning and listen to at least 10 or 15 minutes of the preaching sometime in the day, and you will find yourself in a new place a breakthrough. This is a time of breakthrough. I hope you join us tonight at 745 Central here on the One New Man Network at House of David. It's going to be a powerful time and I want to personally invite you to come worship. I want to close out uh, this week with our text which is Ephesians 3 and 20. This is the Apostle Paul speaking to the church at Ephesus. And uh, I just want to remind you that the Apostle Paul a rabbi's rabbi speaking to these Greek people in Ephesus. These Greeks who worshipped all sorts of Greek myth mythologies and gods and, and uh, with, that put all sorts of demands and made all sorts of promises and really didn't deliver real well. So he's speaking to them and he's saying, let me tell you something about our God, the God of the Jews, the God who's rescued them from Pharaoh, who parted the Red Sea and, and literally gave them a nation and brought down the walls at Jericho. Because, see, they know all these stories. The God that saved Paul down by the sea where he was putting firewood in and got snake bit and he shook off the viper and didn't die. The, the one who prophesied to them about the shipwreck and, you know, they were relating. I mean, this has a tremendous reputation. And he says, now to this God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in us. And so what he was doing is he was, at, he was saying to them, I'm giving you an opportunity to have power. The power that works in us. He's saying all the ones that you see the testimony, all the Jewish people and his disciples, that power that works in us can work in you. And it's far beyond what you could ask or think. It's far beyond what you could imagine. And it's far beyond Zeus and all the other gods that you have. This is like a whole nother league. You need to come into this kingdom. And that kingdom is obtained by faith. And that's obtained by faith of the choice that this man made Yeshua in a garden when he chose to take a cup and said Lord I'll choose the assignment of dying on the cross to remove the sin of everyone who will call on my name so that I can restore to my father these children who were lost in a garden when Adam and Eve fell I will reverse the curse I'll restore the relationship with God the sinless lamb God incarnate bent his knee in a garden outside of Jerusalem and said yes for you and I this is the real God these others not this statue but what it symbolizes this act in the garden to me is more powerful than Calvary itself because this is the servant God who said yes that blood was shed from his head to the ground so that you and I could say yes it's the blood that he shed that allows us to say yes so as we go into this Shabbat let's say this prayer Father God come on say it with me Father God Thank you for sending Jesus, Yeshua, who shed blood for me, that I might ask and think beyond my position as a mere human, that he sent his spirit to abide in me, and that power works in me to do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think. Father God, thank you that I let the mind of Christ be in me. I thank you, Lord. Let me think and ask differently. Let me ask according to what God wants for me and what God thinks and not what I think. 
Thank you, Lord. I seal this work that's been done in me this week. I'll never be the same again. In Yeshua's name, amen. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you tonight, 745. Shabbat Shalom.